Coaches, now we're getting into a passing type drill, and this is non-moving type passing. So we have kind of individuals partnered up, we have one basketball, and what we're gonna just focus on is focus on basic passing um, from chest pass to bounce pass, uh, to working on overhead pass, a baseball pass, and we work on basically step through one-handed passes. So the biggest thing we wanna tell the kids is this, is when you pass the basketball, you're passing it to two things. First of all, you're passing it to eyes. If Isaac's here and Emmanuel's passing the ball and Isaac can't see, he should not pass the basketball to him. Now we might be going down a foreign transition, Isaac's not looking, and he should, but he can't throw the ball, so we gotta get Isaac to run to, down the floor to look at the basketball. But he does not throw the basketball to someone who can't see. There's too many times in the games where the ball is thrown to somebody and not looking and go, oh, my, my bad, my bad, but it's a turnover. So we're throwing it to eyes. The second thing we throw it to is hands. You hear a lot of people say, oh, it's the chest, or it's the chest. No, you want to throw it to the hands because if Isaac's guarding me and I have my hands here away from the fender, you're going to throw it to the hands. So hands and eyes are what we want to focus on when they're passing it. The other thing when you set them up to pass, make sure the kids understand is a lot of times, again, they won't snap their passes out. They'll kind of flip it out. They'll be lazy with it. They won't get a lot of strength and fall through and complete their pass. Or they won't step to make the pass. And they get leverage and strength and stepping. So we want to make sure we're telling them, you want to step, you want to fall through in your pass, you want to finish it. Now, the other thing we talk to them about is communicate. Communication is a big, big thing in the game of basketball. So we're going to tell like Emmanuel, my name's Jim. So if we were together, we'd be sitting there passing it and I'm getting ready to throw it to him. He'd be like, Jim, right? Jim. Jim. And I say Emmanuel. So we know that we're communicating. He's ready to receive the pass. So it also helps just communicating type drill to make sure your team's communicating the game of basketball. Now, the only thing we got to make sure is this. If Isaac's defending me and Emmanuel throws the basketball, go ahead and throw it. A lot of times kids will step in and steal the pass. And who will receive the turnover will be the passer, but a lot of times it should be the receiver as well because they didn't do their job to go to receive the basketball. So when the pass is thrown to me, I want to step to receive the basketball and I want to be in a triple threat position. So when they're doing this drill, don't have them go like, throw it to me, man, Emmanuel. Gina, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Don't have them do that. So what you want them to do is set up to where I'm here, Emmanuel. Jim, I stepped to meet the pass. Now I'm ready. Emmanuel. Jim, boom, I stepped to meet it. Good. Wait. Emmanuel. Jim, boom, stepped to meet a triple threat. Emmanuel. Jim. So we'll start out, we'll throw the tr uh, traditional chest pass. Then after that, we're going to go here, we're going to throw a traditional bounce pass. And our bounce pass, we want it to be three quarters away to Emmanuel. Make sure the kids don't take it and do a forward spin on the basketball. So all your passes, when you throw a traditional passes, you ought to have your thumbs down where your hands go out and you get a good backward rotation spinning that ball so it softens the landing coming up. So we start with bounce passes going like this, Emmanuel, Jim, boom. Step to meet it, step to meet it, triple threat, Emmanuel. Step to meet it, triple threat, Emmanuel. Boom, step to meet it, triple threat. Then we're gonna go overhead pass. Now when we throw the overhead pass, don't have kids take the ball, take it all the way, and be wide and behind their back and throwing it, because if Isaac's guarding me, and I go up to throw the pass, and I wind up to do it, he can take it from me. So, and that's also too slow. I want to take the ball, and I want to be tight, tighter up right above my head, so I can sit there and bam, throw it, and I want to snap it over. Same thing we're doing is, when I throw this pass, I snap it over, my thumbs go out, my thumbs go down, hands go out, good backward spin on the, on the basketball going. So we'd be doing this, go Emmanuel, Jim, boom, tight, tight with the ball, Emmanuel, Jim, boom, step to meet, Emmanuel, Jim, wait, Emmanuel, Jim, boom, step to meet him. You gonna wait? Emmanuel, Jim, boom, step to meet him. You ready, get ready, hands from hands target. And make sure the kids are showing the target, giving you hands, communicating. Then we'll go baseball pass, ball here, move back a little bit. When we throw this, don't have them wind up, come here one-handed, same thing. Isaac's right here, he's guarding me, I come back to throw it, they can take it from me. Also, too, somebody comes and takes, takes him away, Emmanuel, and I try to wind up to throw it, and all of a sudden I'm trying to pull it back, a lot of times there'll be a turnover. So we want to be tight like a football, somebody like a quarterback passing it, we want the ball in tight by our ear with our guide hand on it. So now when I sit there and I see it, I'm going to step, boom, and fall through, put someone underneath the pass, make a soft landing coming down. So same thing, he'd be back there, Emmanuel, Jim, boom, throw it to me, Emmanuel, 
Jim, bam, step to meet it. Emmanuel, boom, step to meet it. So we go through that. The next ones we'll go into is what we call step throughs. So now we have here, Isaac scored me. I can't throw a traditional chest pass through him. I can't throw a traditional bounce pass through him. So now I got to step through the individual guarding me. So what I do is this, we call it, if I fake high, I throw low. If I fake low, I throw high. So what we'll do is this, I might fake high, I'm gonna step my lead foot by this person by the body, have the ball mouth side hand with the guide hand and flip that pass right through. So again, go ahead garden. If I fake high, boom, he went up, I step right through him and you wanna step and fall through, finish your pass. Ball's here. You can also have it to where if they're using the same pivot foot and their late, late, lesser lead foot, if I fake high, I would step across him. If my right foot is my lead foot and my left foot is my pivot foot, I fake high, I'm stepping right through him body to body, passing it, protecting the ball with my body and making a strong pass to him. You got to have them have the lead foot going to get some strength on it. The last one we'll do on this, we'll go here. I'm gonna fake low, he goes low, if I fake low, boom, throw right high, flip right through his ear. So again, it's up here, I fake low, boom, he goes, step right through him, okay? So now they will be positioned, kind of free throw line extended out, and really focus on making, throwing good passes, get set, and just don't be throwing it back and forth to each other. So we got to step to meet the basketball, we got to catch and triple threat, we got to talk, communicate as we're doing this, okay? Chest pass right now, you ready? Go, let's go. Stop. So coaches, here's what I do, I'm like watching you two right now, for example, here's you, throw me the ball, you're, just step, you're standing straight up, not even really stepping to meet the basketball, you're kind of stepping to meet it, but you're not even triple threat, you're standing stiff-legged. Here's what I want to see, if I'm you guys, now back up, I'm like this, Jack. Boom, a step to meet it. I'm in triple threat, I'm ready. I'm in a stance ready to pass it. Jack, boom, Jim, step to meet it, triple threat every time. You gotta get the kids doing the right thing every time. Don't let them do, just go through the motions and get in bad habits. You ready, go, let's go. Do it the right way. Step to meet the basketball, triple threat better. Now wait for him. Wait for him to get set. Now we go bounce pass, bounce passes, bounce passes. Step to meet it, triple threat, wait till he's ready. Better step to me basketball, triple threat. Wait till he's ready before he passes. Wait till he gets set. Now get ready. Now we go. 